I want to share with you some thoughts about something that's been weighing heavily on my heart these past several weeks. I'm presenting them to you because I know that your prayers are powerful. And I ask for your prayers. Certain newspaper articles have appeared which do not contain the whole truth. Results of a statement I made at the end of a four-hour deposition, and four, four of the words in the four-hour deposition were reported in the paper. And of course, they are the words that I wish I could take back, or I wish they could have been treated in context, or I wish I could have chosen my words more carefully. But I think all of us, during the course of our lives, have occasions when we say something and then we wish that we could have said it better or differently. I never, ever said that a child is responsible for abuse. And in the course of the deposition, I said several times that the priest, the adult, in the relationship is always guilty. To abuse a child is obviously a sin. It's a crime. It should never happen. And we're doing our best in the Diocese of Syracuse to make sure that it never happens again. So if you read about the petition that is going around, I take comfort in the fact that so many of those people who signed it have no connection at all to the Diocese of Syracuse. The vast majority of people are from outside the diocese. And I know that people have said, what do you think about it? And last week at the conference with the district attorneys, I said that it's only human to be hurt when someone says something about you with whom, with which you do not agree. So yes, it hurts. But I say equally that the premise is untrue. Let me repeat again. I do not believe children are in any way responsible for being abused. And I'm sorry that my words, taken out of context, in answer to a hypothetical question, have caused hurt and harm to victims, to victims' families, to you, the good people of the Diocese of Syracuse, and to the church. I pray that in this year of mercy that we are about to begin that there can be forgiveness and mercy and healing and joy. No child ever deserves to be abused. And the adult is always wrong. These are difficult days for the church and for me personally. And I want you to know that I pledge my best efforts to you and to all the people of the diocese to see that it does not happen again. I take great comfort in knowing that over 35,000 
clergy, employees, volunteers, have received training and undergone background checks, checks to make them aware. I'm extremely grateful that last year over 27,000 young people in our diocese, students in our faith formation programs in our Catholic schools had training, and every year they do. While well, some of this would be repeats, the annual um, student participation in something like this has been between 27 and 40,000 students a year, every year since 2003. So I hope that in your heart and in your mind, you can understand how words can be taken out of context, how all of us make mistakes, how all of us need to ask forgiveness, how all of us need mercy. And I hope that we can keep that in mind as we go forward. You have my solemn pledge that my efforts and the best efforts of everyone who works for the diocese will be to protect our beautiful children and to keep them safe. That's certainly the wish of all of us. But in a very special way, I'm appealing to you. You know, our Lord entrusted the news of his resurrection first to women. And they carried the message. And the word of God spread. I'm counting on you to carry the message that our children in this diocese will be protected to the best of our ability. So I ask for your prayers and your support and your help at this very difficult time. Thank you.